I traveled 20 hours from Dubai to Las Vegas just to film this one video. So why Las Vegas? Well, that's because I invited three software engineer friends of mine to help me answer this one question. What projects should you put on your resume? So let's meet our guests. Yo, what up, Tim? Yo. Hello. What's hey. going on? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Combined, these guys have got 20 years of software development experience, and they just so happen to be my partners in a brand new, completely free school community, which you can join from the link in the description. Anyways, let's hear what they have to say. So if I had to build a project for my resume, I would probably build some sort of gym application. For me, I really like lifting weights, and I feel like if you build some kind of weightlifting application, that would allow you to really solve a problem that you actually have and face hopefully every single day when you're in the gym. And I think by you solving a problem that you actually have and face, it's a problem that you know intricately. And so you're gonna actually design things and build stuff that's helpful for you. And that's very real for how you do stuff in real software where you're building things that are useful for users. So when you actually build something that you're passionate about, you also really know that thing very well. And so for example, if I had to answer questions about that application that I built, recruiters are gonna know that I'm passionate and that I actually know all the details because I care about the problem. So for me, I think another thing too is maintaining motivation. And if I'm building something that solves a problem that I have, I'm going to be more willing to actually spend the time to invest and do that thing because I'm interested in that actual application that I'm building. Yeah, so I think it kind of depends. If you want to do things that are all in one language, you could definitely use something like PHP or Java or really whatever it is that you're comfortable with. My advice is always to take something that you know well and you feel comfortable with and start building that thing. It's always hard when you have to throw more tasks on top of something. Like if you don't know React and now you want to build something in React, that's fine, but now you have another hurdle or another thing to get over. So what I would really recommend doing is figuring out what you want to build it in and then start building it in that thing. And I think a good way to do that too is just break up different tasks. Engineering, you constantly do that. You constantly figure out a big thing and break it down into smaller chunks that you can really deliver in smaller bite-sized pieces. So I would probably first think about the front end. And then I would also think about the back end. And like anything else, I'd think about how they connect and the data that the front end needs and the data that the back end has to provide to the front end to actually have the application work as expected. So I would probably use something like React because I know React and I have experience with React. And then I'd probably use a back end programming language like Java because that's sort of my expertise and what I've done a lot of work in. So I'd probably build something in the front end first and then sort of see how I want it to, to work or look from a user experience. And I'd figure out the data that I have to provide on the back end for that to actually function. By the way, if you want an entire guide going through the best projects to add on your resume, then make sure you check out our school community. In there, we've got live calls, over 13,000 members, and I've just written a post going over a ton of extra projects that would look fantastic on your resume. So an idea that I've had for a while around a really cool project idea that you could build that could really make you stand out, and this might sound crazy, and it would certainly take a lot of effort would be around building a high level programming language, developing a compiler for that programming language in a language like C, and then building a video game with that high level programming language like Tetris or Pac-Man. And don't get me wrong, this would certainly take a lot of effort, but it would undoubtedly showcase the fact that you are a really skilled developer, that you have a really strong understanding of computer science and software engineering principles and how programming languages work. And for anyone interested in building this type of project, a great place to start would be with a book titled The Elements of a Computing System that goes through building a computer from the ground up, starting with basic logic gates, all the way to creating a high level programming language for that computer that's capable of running Tetris. Yeah, so a great project that you could put on your resume is you wanna build a software project usually with about something that you're interested in because that's gonna give you more motivation to work on it because it's obviously something you're interested in. Something I'm interested in is education. When I was in college, I was a computer science tutor and then I started a YouTube channel where I teach and I do hundreds of videos teaching lead code problems. So I built an educational platform similar to how Omegle is structured where you connect with a random person over video chat and talk to them. And I thought this would be a cool style of thing for education where you could connect to random people over specific categories of education or specific topics and uh, discuss those things. Maybe you could find a mentor or somebody that knows more than you and you can learn from that person. So I was kind of inspired by the platform Pramp where you could connect with random people and do mock interviews to prepare for your coding interviews. So I thought this could transfer into other things like different categories like 
uh, geography, politics, business, all of these things. You could connect and talk to people. So I actually built this during a hackathon and then continued working on it. It was a full stack JavaScript application where we use React on the front end and then Node.js on the back end. And we really managed the whole thing through Node.js WebSockets where the people would connect over WebSocket video chat. And uh, we did have like login and cookies and stuff like that. And we wanted to make it so that people had to sign up with educational emails so that we could prevent things like bots, spams, people that got onto troll and things like that. We just wanted people to be serious on the platform. And yeah, that was the project. We won in the hackathon. And I think this stands out specifically because it's an interesting idea. It's a little bit more innovative than just your average generic project that people build and put on their resume. So it kind of shows that I can think on my own and think of creative ideas. Well, there you have it. Three incredible projects from some experienced software engineers. I hope you guys found this useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.